In this video, we'll be looking at trigonometric graphs. So a lot of you would have heard of trigonometry, and the three functions do actually have their own graphs as well. So for those of you that don't know, the trigonometric functions are sine x, cos x, and tan x. And today we'll be looking at the graphs that they produce. So we're going to look at sine and cos first. These both are very similar to each other. If you notice, the only difference between them is technically the sine x is 90 degrees ahead of the cos x. So if you were to shift the cos x graph 90 degrees to the right, it would look exactly the same. Now, because both of them do look fairly similar, it's actually quite easy to remember the difference between them. So the way I always like to think about it is the sine x starts lower down at the center of the axes and the cos x starts at the top. Now you can use the fact that C comes before S in the alphabet. So because C comes first, that starts at the top and sine is lower down. So both of them produce this wave and this will continue outside the range of 0 to 360 degrees. But especially at GCSE, you never really need to know much further than 0 to 360 degrees. So that's why I've included just that here. Okay, so hopefully they make sense. Another thing within them is the values at, for example, 90, 180, 270, and 360. They are very easy to work out once you can see the graph here. So for example, sine of 90, we can see is going to be 1. And if you put it into your calculator, you can work that out as well. It will give you exactly the same thing. Similarly, sine of 180 is going to be 0. And let's say we've got cos of 360 or cos of 0, both the same thing. They will both make 1. So the values for these will always be inside the range of 1 to minus 1. Okay, now we've dealt with those two. The slightly harder one, a bit more confusing, is tan x. So tan x is a repeated pattern every 180 degrees. So again, this would go outside the range of 0 to 360, but you can see this repeated pattern that keeps happening. Another thing you may know is tan of 90 if you put it into your calculator, you will get a math error. Likewise with 270 and 450 and all the ones beyond that. This graph shows why that is. So you can see there's a term that we've learned in the previous video is called an asymptote. And tan x has asymptotes at those values. So an asymptote, for those of you that don't know, is when a function gets close and close to that value but never actually touches it. So it doesn't have a set value for that number. Again here, you can work out certain values fairly easily. For example, tan of 180 is going to be 0 because it's on the x-axis. Likewise with 360 and 540 and everything beyond that. Now take as much time as you want to copy these down. They are very important to know. But thank you very much for watching and I hope that helped. 